Hey there, if you like my videos, you might also like my comedy web series YouTube Blue, which debuts with its first episode on January 2nd, with weekly episodes coming every Saturday. If you want to see that, click the link in the description to go over to the YouTube Blue official YouTube channel. Now on with the video. What? I haven't seen you guys since last year! Okay, now that we have that out of the way, let's talk about Doctor Who. Revolution of the Daleks comes out today, and that means that my review comes out tomorrow. But now I want to do something rather bold and talk about everyone who's played the Doctor on screen. I'll be starting with the main 13, then going to the secondary actors that fans still know, and I'll also be talking about some really obscure stuff. And also actors who played the Doctor in some Doctor Who parodies made by the BBC. So, the main 13. The first Doctor was played by William Hartnell. William Hartnell played the Doctor from the very first episode in 1963 through the first three seasons of the show. He left the role at the end of The Tenth Planet, the second serial of season 4 due to rising health issues. He would return to the role once in 1973 for the 10th anniversary serial The Three Doctors, which aired at the beginning of season 10, though again, due to health complications, he had a limited role. He passed away just a couple years later, and obviously hasn't reprised the role since. The second Doctor was played by Patrick Troughton, who played the character for the rest of season 4 and all of seasons 5 and 6. He returned to the role three times, once in 1973 for The Three Doctors, once in 1983 for the 20th anniversary anniversary special The Five Doctors, and once in 1985 for The Two Doctors in season 22. He apparently left the role because he thought he shouldn't be in the role longer than the original actor William Hartnell. Next is John Pertwee, the third Doctor, who played the role in all of seasons 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. He returned to play the role officially in live action twice, in 1983 for The Five Doctors, and in 1993 for the 30th anniversary special Dimensions in Time, though he also played the role unofficially in a now controversial corporate training video from 1981, played himself in the 1991 VHS The Troughton Years and the 1992 VHS The Pertwee Years, played the Doctor in a 1993 BBC radio play, The Paradise of Death, its 1995 sequel, The Ghosts of Endspace, and it's believed that the last time he played the Doctor before he died in 1996 was when he filmed a few scenes for the fan film Devious in 1995. The fourth Doctor was played by Tom Baker. Tom Baker played the character in all of seasons 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. He was also in the 1976 vinyl stories Doctor Who and the Pescatons and Exploration Earth. He did not return in The Five Doctors, though some footage from the incomplete serial Shada was used in the special. Speaking of Shada, he first reprised the role in 1992 for the direct to VHS Shada Reconstruction. Then he was himself in the 1992 VHS The Tom Baker Years, then he reprised the role again in 1993 for Dimensions in Time. Then in 2013, he played the curator, a future incarnation of the Doctor, for the 50th anniversary special Day of the Doctor. And in 2017, he played the fourth Doctor again in the animated reconstruction of Shada. Plus, he's been in a bunch of audio stuff, which I likely will not mention again in this video, besides maybe once or twice. Next is Peter Davison, the fifth Doctor. He played the role in seasons 19, 20, and 21, minus the final serial, The Twin Dilemma, and in the five Doctors between seasons 20 and 21. He later played himself in the 1992 VHS, Daleks The Early Years, reprised the role of the Doctor in 1993 for Dimensions of Time, and in 2007 for The Children in Need Minisode, Time Crash, and in 2013 he played himself in the movie he also wrote and directed, The Five-ish Doctors Reboot. Colin Baker played the Sixth Doctor in The Twin Dilemma, the final serial of Season 21, and all of Seasons 22 and 23. He was also in the 1985 short, A Fix with Centaurans, in the 1985 BBC radio play, Slip Back. He reprised the role in 1993 for Dimensions in Time, in 2012 for the BBC iWebcast Real Time, and he played himself in the 1992 VHS special, Cybermen the Early Years, and in 1994 for the VHS special The Colin Baker Years, and in 2013 for The Five-ish Doctors Reboot. 
Sylvester McCoy played the seventh Doctor in seasons 24, 25, and 26. He reprised the role in a 1990 episode of Search Out Science, played himself in the 1991 VHS special The Hartnell Years, played the Doctor in 1993 for Dimensions and Time, in 1996 for the first 10 minutes of the Doctor TV movie, in 2001 for the BBC I webcast Death Comes to Time, and he played himself in 2013 for the Five-ish Doctors reboot. He also technically played the sixth Doctor in the opening scene of time in the Rani. Next is Paul McGann, the 8th Doctor who has appeared in a lot of audio stories, but not a lot of on-screen work. He appeared in the 1996 TV movie, the 2003 Shada webcast, and the 2013 Minnesota Night of the Doctor. He also played himself in a minor role in the 5-ish Doctor's reboot. Next is Christopher Eccleston, the 9th Doctor, who appeared in Series 1 and nowhere else until some audio stuff he's doing now. Next we have the 10th Doctor, played by David Tennant who appeared in the 2005 special, The Christmas Invasion, Series 2, the 2006 Christmas special, The Runaway Bride, Series 3, the 2007 Christmas special, Voyage of the Damned, Series 4, the 2008 Christmas special, The Next Doctor, the 2009 special, Planet of the Dead, the Sarah Jane Adventures Series 3 serial, The Wedding of Sarah Jane Smith, the 2009 special, The Waters of Mars, the 2009 Christmas special, The End of Time Part 1, and the 2010 New Year's Day special, The End of Time Part 2. He was also in A Few Minnesota, the 2007 animated series, the Infinite Quest that aired on CBBC as a part of Totally Doctor Who, and the 2009 independent CBBC animated serial Dreamland. He later reprised the role in 2013 for Day of the Doctor, and he cameoed in the Five-ish Doctors reboot as himself. Next is Matt Smith. He played the role in Series 5, the Sarah Jane Adventures Series 4 serial Death to the Doctor, the 2010 Christmas special A Christmas Carol, Series 6, the 2011 Christmas special The Doctor, the Widow, and the Wardrobe, Series 7A, the 2012 Christmas special The Snowmen, Series 7B, Day of the Doctor, and the 2013 Christmas special Time of the Doctor. He also cameoed as the Doctor in the 2013 docudrama Adventures in Space and Time. Peter Capaldi, the 12th Doctor, first appeared as the Doctor in a cameo in Day of the Doctor, before appearing in Series 8, the 2014 Christmas special Last Christmas, Series 9, the 2015 Christmas special The Husbands of River Song, the 2016 Christmas special The Return of Doctor Mysterio, Series 10, and the 2017 Christmas special Twice Upon a Time. Last for the Big 13 is the current Doctor. Jodie Whittaker, who has so far played the 13th Doctor in the Series 11, the 2018 New Year's Day Special Resolution, Series 12, today's New Year's Day Special Revolution of the Daleks, and is also going to be in Series 13. Now let's get into the secondary actors. These are ones that most Doctor Who fans still know. First is Peter Cushing, who played Doctor Who, a human scientist in the 1965 movie Doctor Who and the Daleks, and its 1966 sequel, Daleks Invasion Earth 2150 AD. Of course, he's not canon, but he's still significant. He also played a different version of Doctor Who in a now lost radio show from 1966 that I recently made a video on. Then there's Richard Herndl, who played the first Doctor in The Five Doctors, because by then William Hartnell had passed away. Next is Michael Jaston, who played the Valyard, an evil version of the Doctor in Season 23. Next is Rowan Atkinson, who played the ninth Doctor in the 1999 Red Nose Day parody sketch, Curse the Fatal Death. In fact, let's go through all the other actors from that sketch. Richard E. Grant played the 10th Doctor, and he would later play a no longer canon version of the 9th Doctor in the 2003 40th Anniversary animated serial Scream of the Shalka. Jim Broadbent played the 11th Doctor, Hugh Grant played the 12th Doctor, and Joanna Lumley played the 13th Doctor in a very prophetic appearance. Toby Jones played the Dream Lord, another evil version of the Doctor in Series 5's episode Amy's Choice. John Hurt played the War Doctor in a cameo appearance in the Series 7B finale, Name of the Doctor, and in the 50th Anniversary Special, Day of the Doctor. David Bradley played the William Hartnell in the 2013 Doctor drama and adventure in Space and Time. He would later go on to play the first Doctor in the 2017 Christmas special Twice Upon a Time. Last but not least for the secondary Doctors is Joe Martin, who played a pre-Hartnell version of the Doctor that appeared in the Series 12 episode Fugitive of the Judoon and The Timeless Children. Now for the tertiary Doctors, one that hardcore Who fans know, but not much else. 
first some stage exclusive doctors. In the 1974 stage show, The Seven Keys to Doomsday, Trevor Martin played the fourth doctor before Robot had even aired. He would later reprise the role in the Big Finish audio version of the play. In the 1984 run of Seven Keys, Michael Sagar would play the role. In 1989, David Banks, who also played various Cybermen in the classic series, played the Doctor for three performances of The Ultimate Adventure when John Pertwee was recovering from an injury. Next is Lenny Henry, who played an alternate Seventh Doctor in a 1985 Doctor Who parody. Then we have Mark Gatiss, who played an unspecified Doctor in the 1999 spoof The Web of Caves that aired as a part of Doctor Who Night. He would also play John Pertwee in some cut scenes from An Adventure in Space and Time. Speaking of, Reese Shearsmith played Patrick Troughton in An Adventure in Space and Time. Then there's some technicalities. Catherine Tate, who played Donna, becomes half Doctor in the Series 4 finale Journey's End. David Morrissey played Jackson Lake, a man that was brainwashed into thinking he was the Doctor in the 2008 Christmas special The Next Doctor, and David Anthony, who played Clyde Langer in The Sarah Jane Adventures, briefly had his character swap minds with the Doctor in Death of the Doctor. Also, we have John Guiler, who voiced the first Doctor in the DVD reconstruction of the original version of Planet of Giants, and voiced the first Doctor in a cameo in Day of the Doctor. Last but not least, some really, really obscure stuff. When William Hartnell was on vacation during production of Episode 2 of The Reign of Terror, Brian Proudfoot acted as a body double in one scene. Edmund Warwick stood in for William Hartnell when he was injured during production of Episode 4 of The Dalek Invasion of Earth. He would later play the robotic clone of the Doctor that the Daleks built in The Chase. Though some scenes Hartnell did play him, and all of his lines were dubbed over by Hartnell. Albert Warren played the Doctor in Episode 3 of The Celestial Toymaker when William Hartnell was on holiday. Gordon Craig was a stand-in for Hartnell when he was sick in Episode 3 of The Tenth Planet. Chris Jeffries was a body double for Patrick Troughton when he was on vacation during filming for Episode 2 of The Wheel in Space. Tommy Laird was his body double during Episode 4 of The Seeds of Death. The Morbius Doctors and the Brain of Morbius were played in order of appearance by Christopher Berry, Robert Banks Stewart, Christopher Baker, Philip Hinchcliffe, Douglas Canfield, Graham Harper, Robert Holmes, and George Galatio. The man in the suit of The Watcher in Legopolis was Adrian Gibbs. Michael Jones played a young doctor in Listen in Series 8. Finally, in The Timeless Children, multiple uncredited actors played different versions of The Timeless Child. We don't know all of them, but the third incarnation was played by Grace Nettle, the fourth incarnation was played by Leo Tang, the fifth incarnation was played by Jack Jones, and the last incarnation we see was played by Jesse Day Yi. There you go, I'm tired of talking. Unless they unveil a new uh, surprise incarnation uh, in Revolution of the Daleks, like they have a huge twist by leading us to believe that Jodie Whittaker was coming back for Series 13, but reveal a 14th Doctor or something, this should be accurate for a while at least. Don't forget to subscribe for daily videos on the franchises you love, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.